Today, we were going to be learning about scatter plot. A scatter plot is a graph that relates two groups of data. This data is plotted on a coordinate graph. Most scatter plots are in the first quadrant because the data is usually positive numbers. When the points are plotted, they are scattered all over. That is why the graph is called a scatter plot. Let's take a look at some key terms we're going to be learning about today. Correlation, line of best fit, univariate data, and bivariate data. Let's take a look at univariate and bivariate data. Univariate data is a set of data that consists of one variable. For example, the price of high-speed internet from different companies. The price is the only variable that will be collected here. Bivariate data is a set of data made up of two variables. For example, the height of a mammal and its weight. The height and weight are the two different variables. Let's determine whether each type of data is univariate or bivariate. The atomic weights of calcium and copper. There is one variable, atomic weight. The data is univariate. The volume of a cube and the length of an edge of the cube. There are two variables, volume and length. The data is bivariate. Let's take a look at correlation. There are three types of correlation. Positive correlation, negative correlation, and no correlation. When the x and y values increase together, there will be a positive correlation. For example, the more time you spend studying, the higher your test scores will be. When the x value gets bigger and the y value gets smaller, there will be a negative correlation. For example, the older a car gets, the less it is worth. When the points do not show a pattern, there is no correlation. For example, the month you were born and your birth weight. Let's relate positive and negative correlation to a hill. If you are able to walk uphill, then we have a positive correlation. If your points, if your points are going downhill, then you have a negative correlation. Can you tell what type of correlation each graph has? If you said positive, you're correct. If you said no correlation, you're correct. If you said negative correlation, you're correct. Can you determine what type of correlation each set of data will have? The daily snowfall and the amount of shovels sold. The more it snows, the more shovels that will be sold. They both increase. Therefore, there is a positive correlation. How about the sneaker size and their price? No matter the size of a sneaker, they all cost the same. There is no correlation. The amount of classes taken and the amount of free time. The more classes you take, the less free time you have. Therefore, there is a negative correlation. Let's take a look at the line of best fit. A line of best fit is also known as a best fit line or a trend line. This line is drawn through the data to the best of our ability. There should be about as many points above the line as below. This line will help us approximate values that are not shown in our data. Let's take a look at some examples. We can have a lot of points or just a few and still be able to add a line of best fit. 